I want to take the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'll start off with the color Buns, which is this color here. And then I'm going to go a little bit deeper with the color Mocha. So then I'll do Buns, then Mocha. So that <clears throat> it could just be like a neutral uh, transition shade. And I'm using my Morphe M441 brush in the color Buns first. And I've already, um, I forgot to say, I already did my eyebrows off camera. I used the Jordana brow pencil. And then I also used my ColourPop brow pencil. I just primed my lids with the matte paint pot and painterly, I believe. A paint pot and painterly, yes. So, Try my eyes with that so that my colors could pop a little bit more. And then I put some translucent powder on top of that to set it. I applied buns. And now I'm going to go ahead into the color Mocha. For Mocha, I'm going to use my Morphe. It doesn't have a number, but just this light little Morphe brush here. And I'm going to use the color Mocha and just go right in with that. Now I'm going to go back in with buns and just blend out the top. Alright, so now that I am done with that part, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a little bit of black on the outer part here. Um, I'm going to use the color Abyss from the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is just this really dark matte black here. And the three colors that I'll be using, well, the three main colors I'll be using is this color right here, this color here, this color here, and this color here. No camera doesn't look. Let me see if I can. I'll I'll show you guys watches. This like more brown color is. Cosmic Ocean. The little purple here is Midnight Bolt. And then this here is Sublime. So those are the colors I'll be using the most as far as my eye is concerned. But all the colors in here are super, super pretty. So it's kind of hard for me to choose which one to use first. But those are the three I want to stick with. So First, I am going to take Cosmic Ocean. After I put the mixing medium on my eye, I'm gonna put that on my eye first, and then I'll use Cosmic Ocean, and I'm gonna pack it on like so. And then use my finger to pack. I've already used the Cosmic Ocean, and then now I'm going to go in with um, Midnight Bolt. 
that's just going to go more so in the middle part of my eye here so it's going to transition outward Alright, so I've already done that and now I'm going to go in with Sublime and that's going to go in the first third of my eye. All right, so now I'm going to go back in with the first color and just pack a little bit more on the outside and probably of um, the second color also. So I'm going to go back in with Cosmic Ocean and Midnight Bolt and just kind of pack a little bit more on the eye just to make sure you can kind of see the color a little bit more. And now I'm going to go back in with the black and just kind of make sure that it's it's seen so I'm just gonna go back in with this just a little bit more black and now that we got that done we're gonna go ahead and go back in with mocha and with buns and just get the transition colors back on there because they kind of got a little bit lost with all the glitter. Alright, so now I'm going to go in and do a little bit of a pop of color on the inner corner from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to take the color right here, Jada, and pop that on the inner corner. And then on top of that, I'm going to put from the Galaxy palette the color Jupiter Sand, which is here. This one. Now I'm going to just blend that in. Now I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the eye because I have a lot of fallout. You probably can't tell, but I have a lot of just glitter all over the place. I'm going to take a wipe and just clean up as much of the glitter as possible. I'm going to Start with the lower eyes and go ahead and use, I want to use just a little elf brush, smudger brush here. And I'm just going to go back in with the color um, mocha at the bottom. And underneath that, I'm going to kind of just go with the um, bunch. Now I want to just line with a black eyeliner brush or eyeliner pencil underneath.
and then I'm going to use a gel eyeliner for the top. I'm just going to line the top. I was going to use a liquid liner, but I really don't want to get glitter all over the place. So I'm going to go and use gel. Alright y'all, so I have saved you all the trouble of doing my lashes, my bottom liner, um, my little bit of contour, and what else did I do? Prime off camera just to save time. I don't want to make this video super long because it's mostly about the eyes. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and finish up and go with the blush and highlight on camera and for the blush I'm going to use the Super Shop Cheek from Colourpop and this is the color Bardo and I'm just going to use this little brush of brush here to apply I haven't used this color in forever Alright, and then for a highlight, I'm going to use the color, this is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder from Wet n Wild, um, in the color Precious Petals. So this is how this looks, it's really pretty. I've used one other color with this same highlighting um, palette, just a different color and it's really pretty. So this is my first time using this actual color. Okay. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's super glowy, which I like. I always like to bring up my con my um highlighter like up here. Because my face is so like fat. <laughs> I turn to the side, it kind of just like makes it more like elongated. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply a little bit here, a little bit no, oh, a little bit too much on the nose. Just FYI, I went ahead and used the Fenty foundation. I love this foundation. I've already done another tutorial using it. And I ranted and raved about it on that video. And I think it should be the last makeup video I uploaded before this one. So I don't think I want to do for lip color. I want to do something. Mm. Should I do something dark or something nude? Let's try something nude. Um, I'm just actually gonna try this gloss. I'm gonna use the gloss in Lychee Me from ColourPop. And I think this gloss was um, a part of the Karuchi K-pop collection. And I thought this had some like really pigmentate like a good pigmentation on it but I don't from what I remember because I haven't worn it in a while but I don't think it has good pigmentation which is why I really don't wear it because it's just pretty much on me like a clear gloss so let's see how this looks we could go super just simple with a gloss but I think I want to do something with color let's try this one we'll try brown sugar from the Kali collection but I want to line my lips a little bit with chestnut by Mac and on top of that I'll just put brown sugar But I think I want to do something a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go get 
another color and just kind of pop it in the middle because I want more of a like pinky color so I'll be right back so in the middle I'm going to go ahead and pop on Dulce K <clears throat> which is also from Kali Cosmetics just pop that in the middle all right guys so that is the look and I hope you guys liked it I'm going to go ahead and give you guys swatches of the palette and a quick review on it when i swatched it initially i love the colors and i was super super excited to use them but now that i'm actually using them on my eyes it it's just a little once a little bit too just messy like there's glitter all over the place all over my hands all over my body and all over my face and it's just kind of like annoying um it comes off but still it's there and you have to consistently wipe whatever you know just to get off the actual glitter from the palette the colors are super super pretty however and for a palette that costs 60 dollars the colors are very pretty very different and it's an all glitter palette which you don't see too many of I don't even know if I've ever seen an all glitter palette before but um, it's just too too messy and actually working with it you probably can't even tell besides the inner corner you can't probably probably can't even tell that I have more like three different colors on my actual lid I'm sorry it's my camera cut off but actually putting it on your eye you really can't tell the color so that really I don't like about it but I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know I have to maybe play with it some more and kind of see how it looks um, with other color combinations and underneath you know on top of different matte shades just to see if it'll actually pop up and if it will stay on all day because um, there's so much fallout so I don't know we'll see but um if I have to rate it between a 1 and 10, I'll probably rate it about a 7 and more for like a glammed up look or like holiday look or something, you know, some type of nice event that you want to do. Most people probably wouldn't wear this on an everyday basis, some people may, but you know, it all depends on the person. I probably wouldn't use it every day, but I, I love, love glitter, which is why I really wanted the palette and I don't have too many palettes with or even colors in general that are just glitter so that's why i went ahead and wanted to get it and then i swatched it before even trying this on on my arm and it was just so pretty so i'm going to play with it a little bit more to see whether or not i want to keep the palette just because i don't want to get a palette and have all these colors in it and then it not be able to show up like i want it to especially for a palette that's 60 dollars. so yeah that is my galaxy look and i really hope that you guys like how it turned out please like the video please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet please let me know what you think about the palette if you've tried it already i want to know what you guys think and that is it guys and i'll link the products down below and i will catch you in my next video bye